started down on our back today. If getting to the floor is a little difficult, you can always do this right on your bed, the sleeper, anywhere that you have enough space that you can lay out on your back. Let's get started. Let's start out with the knees bent. Roll yourself onto your back. And once you're there, it's almost automatic. The body either wants to be tucked in or stretched out. So you decide. And reach your body nice and long or hug your knees in really tight. And then when you're done with that, reverse it and bring the knees in or the legs out. And then feet drop back to the floor. And when you're ready, nice and long here, walk your feet Hey, Ivan, you just got to be quiet, okay? Please, for 15 minutes or go upstairs. When you're ready, bring your knees into your chest. You can either hold on to the shins or grab onto your hamstrings and compress the legs to the belly. Now, as you do that, tighten up your core, breathe out, and try to curl your nose up to your knees. Nice back stretch. Inhale, reach your arms long and reach your legs out long. Now point your toes, arc your back, lift your ribs. Take a deep breath in, spread your lungs. And then knees come back into the chest. And as they do this time, just rock on your back side to side. And as you rock side to side on your back, just notice any clicking or popping. You might notice that feels really good on your sacrum. If you change the angle of your legs, it's going to change if you're rocking more on your lower back or more on your sacrum. So just a little adjustment can make a really big difference. Nice job. And now from there, drop your feet to the floor. Slide your arms open to deep palms up. That way the chest is more open and walk your feet nice and wide. If you're on a yoga mat, it's going to be wider than your yoga mat. And if you're not, it's wider than hips distance. Now on the exhale, nose breathing, drop your legs one direction and really press the inward knee falling down or falling in towards the floor. You may feel a stretch from that inner knee all the way to the outer hip. So you have what I call like a seatbelt muscle that goes from that outer hip to the inner knee. So tight hips can definitely be the culprit of knee pain. And then back up to center. We're just going to take these windshield wipers to start nice and slow let the outward leg relax and just use a little bit of muscle strength and press down on that inward falling knee allow the hip of that inward falling knee rib to all lift up and arc and just expand your breath as much as you possibly can and then back up to center nice deep breath in nice deep breath out now this time if you'd like I want you to take your hand behind your head and lift up your head. Your leg should be in line with its hip. So if the knee is a little bit inward or outward, just adjust that. And as long as the knee is not pitched higher than the hip, you can cross that outer ankle over the inward falling knee. Again, let the ribs lift with the inhalation. And now pick up your head and look to the foot side. Deep breath in and calming breath out. See if you can really focus your attention on your breathing and focus your attention on the release rather than the tightness. So essentially paying attention what your mind gravitates towards first. And then back up to center. Now as you come all the way back up, if your ankle is not crossed on your knee, I want you to do that. Slide that top leg all the way over and walk the bottom leg across the mat. So we've walked it all the way to the other side. Now drop your knees the other direction. So does that make sense? If my knees were pointing to the right before, now they're pointing to the left. Pick up your head and again look towards the foot side. So it's kind of a twisty pretzel-like position. Now your pretzel may not be as twisty as my pretzel but we are just looking for sensation. We're just looking for space and release. I really want you to erase from your memory this idea that you can and can't do poses or you can't and can't do, can and can't do movements. This is really about exploring your body and being willing to feel space. And then when you're ready, come all the way back up, walk your legs back, uncross, 
uncross, and now let's go to the opposite direction. So knees drop, remember that's the, from the very beginning. Inward knee falls down, we're gonna check. My knee was a little inward. And why we want that knee below the hip is because the knee is not a ball and socket joint. So because we're dropping it inward, we want to really kind of honor that knee joint, but also it's gonna allow for a better hip stretch. If and when you'd like to, outside ankle crosses over the inward falling knee. When would I not do that? When the knee is pitched really high, okay? We just don't need that type of force um, if the hip is already tight enough. Pick up the head and rotate. Notice my back, how much it's arcing. Really exaggerate that, so get the whole body involved. But this is a great testament to lower body tension is going to definitely equal upper body tension. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Soft face, soft jaw. I can even feel that on the opposite side of my lower back. So if you're in that lower lumbar QL area, that's definitely all a hot zone. And then back up to center. If your ankle was not crossed on your knee, you can go ahead and do that and slide the leg all the way over. Bottom foot crosses the mat to the other side all the way and then drop the knees. So now I kind of have this kind of uh, cross-legged, what I would call like girl cross-legged position um, as you tip to the side. Pick up your head and rotate, get the neck involved. And now just nice calm breathing. Really relax your shoulders, sink your body, try not to fight the tension. Focus on the space, focus on the areas that are letting go, focus on your breathing. And then when you're ready, back up to center, walk that foot back, uncross. Feels almost necessary. Bring the knees into the chest, stretch out the lower back, rock, circle, side to side. This is that moment where it's what does my body need? What feels good? If that right side needs a little extra love, you should do that. If the sacrum is what needs rocking on, pull your knees further out. Start to listen to what your body wants. I'm just your guide, you're, you're the real teacher here. All right, feet drop to the floor. And we don't want our feet way out far, but we also don't want to tuck. So if you're kind of old school yoga, I want you to get out of that habit of super tucking because it really puts compression on the lower back and sacrum, which we don't need. So we want to have some space, but feet parallel, press down through all four corners of the feet. Nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, press your hips up without over clenching the glutes. So once you're up, tip the pubis bone towards the ceiling or think about your tailbone towards your kneecaps and hug your knees towards each other. Now this is a whole front body stretch. So if you're tight through the quad, through the patella tendon, you're gonna feel that. Now rock to one shoulder, tuck it under. Rock to the other shoulder, tuck it under. If you feel like you can't clasp hands, grab the mat or grab a strap if you need to pause and join back in. Maybe your hands clasp and press the arms into the floor. Do not pull your knuckles towards your heels. That's gonna flatten out the neck and we don't want that. Now nice deep breath in, breathe into your lungs. And nice deep breath out. Soften the face and jaw, press into the big toe. If your tailbone's starting to sink, re-tip it back towards the knees. And then unwiggle the shoulders. Bring yourself down nice and slow, knees into the chest. Give yourself that nice hug. Rock side to side again. And now drop the feet to the floor, pick up your hips and move them to what would be your right. So hips pick up, swing them to the right. You feel a little crooked. Lengthen out the left leg. So left leg length lengthens out completely. 
take that top leg and bring it across your body. Now the goal is not to push the knee to the floor because the sacrum is kind of like boards stacked on each other. We don't need to offset the boards. So you by all means can set a block or a pillow or something to place the knee on and instead think about sliding the knee forward towards me. Keep your upper back as broad as you can. Keep your upper back as wide on the floor as you can. This is where that support's gonna come in really helpful for the shin and the knee. Again, the goal is not the floor with that lower leg. I'm probably about here right now. Use your free hand to draw the leg down or slide it. I'm gonna push my block out. You can really feel that spinal twist. And now free arm, the opposite arm, can either be in a cactus, which might help you open the chest more, or a T position. Finally, pick up the head and rotate it the opposite way. Now nice deep breathing, breathe into that twisted spine of yours. And nice deep breath out, soft face, soft eyes, soft jaw. See if there's any tension through the groin, try to soften through the leg. That's where that hand can really help and just remind you to relax, relax, relax the leg. And then bring it back to center. As you come back to center, you're going to be a little crooked to start. Hug your knee in towards your chest or maybe more into your armpit. If you need that space for the belly and the chest, feel free just to adjust and drop the foot down. I'm just going to readjust my hips. Once you're readjusted, pick up the hips and swing them now over to the left. And as you do that, try to keep your shoulders flat on the floor. The reason why we're shifting the hips is you're going to roll onto the side of your leg. Now you're going to be in line. Bent leg comes up and over. So now you're on the side seam of your pant. Readjust your upper shoulders by balancing on your head and elbows and just reopen the chest one more time. This is definitely my tight side. Arm opens to T or arm opens to cactus. Nice deep breath in and nice deep breath out. Pick up the head and see if you can rotate even more. Nice deep breath in and nice deep breath out. Soft face, soft eyes. Just really try to relax your body. Just keep breathing, let the belly soften and just enjoy that twist. Even if you don't feel like you're going that far, again, that end goal is not to get the knee to the floor or be the most advanced. If you're feeling the stretch, you're in the pose. If you're feeling the twist, you're exactly where you need to be. And then when you're ready, back to center, readjust the hips, knees into the chest, give yourself a nice hug, rock side to side. Full body stretch one last time. Arc the back, deep breath in, point your toes, and deep breath out. Deep breath in, and knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice hug, roll to your side, and press yourself up. Great.